Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your boy Kevin from Rubbish Around, and today, guys, is something completely different. I don't know if any other reseller has done something like this before, but I thought it'd be a cool idea because I've only got one charity shop open at the moment since lockdown. I'm going to do one charity shop, one week, at, one week. So basically, this haul that I'm going to show you now and the clips are from a whole week's worth of going around this one single charity shop. If you like the idea of me going around one charity shop for a whole week, smash that like button. If we hit 50 likes, I will choose another charity shop which will go around, uh, I think I've done it five times in a week, this same charity shop. So guys, if you do think this is a cool idea or something slightly different, smash that like button. This week's uh, haul is from Sense. Uh, next week's haul is gonna be wherever I can get my hands on a charity shop because obviously charity shops are still slim pickings so yeah guys smash that like button remember 50 likes and we'll continue with this little series basically go around one charity shop all week and see what we can pick so without further ado cue the intro <laughs> So guys, we've got four big bags worth of stuff to go through. So I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for them. There's a nice little Monopoly in there. A nice big teddy bear in there. Some light, yeah, There's loads of stuff, boys and girls. So I'm going to tell you how much I paid for them and how much I'm going to put them on eBay for. And fingers crossed, we make a little bit of profit. I think I spent about 
£31 on all the items which I'm going to show you today, which is obviously a week's worth of uh, pickups from Sense. So guys, before we get any further into the video, today when this video comes out, I've probably gone and uh, had a look at the new office. Yes, guys, I've decided that we're going to get out of the garage because it's unfair on my wife, well, my girlfriend, uh, to have to share this with all this stock. So I've taken the mature route. We're going to go and hire an office. So yeah, hopefully I'll let you know, guys, what I think of the office. So anyway, guys, you're here to have a look at the charity shop hall. Am I right or am I right? So first pickup, like I said, this is probably the most expensive pickup I've picked up from the sense today. I paid six pound and it's a third, what is it? A 60th anniversary edition of Monopoly. I have checked and it's fully complete. Uh, there you've got cards, lots of cards, lots of cards, lots of cards. The, the money's in there, the board's in there. Yeah, this is cool. This is a nice collectible uh, product, really. I mean, I'm pretty tempted to keep it myself. It's got loads of stuff. It's got the instruction. The board is wicked. Yeah. So I uh, had a look on eBay and they're brand new. They're selling on bids for £135. I've seen someone get £45 for this. I'm going to aim for about 40 quid as well because at the end of the day, why not? If someone else can get 40 quid, so can you. So yeah, look out for Monopoly of 60th anniversary. £6 into about 40 quid is absolutely unbelievable. Something completely random, a 1967 uh, click game. It's a dice game. It's a bit like that dice game. Don't know what the dice game is called, but it's a bit like that. From Waddington's, the box is slightly warped a little bit, but what do you expect for a 1967 game? I paid two pound and I'm probably looking for about 15 pound. And as I took that label off, I've ripped the box. Great. So yeah, it's definitely gonna only be worth 15 pound. Might even get 12 pound now I've done that. Fail. Anyway, moving on. Brand new golf uh, golf glove, £1.50 I paid. Probably only get about seven to eight pound. It's a nice size and it's a great time to sell golf gloves. Uh, it's about, I'd say about nine pound, 10 pound. I don't think it's a, a, an amazing brand. I've never really heard, but it's from Masters. If you guys do know the, the brand Masters Golf, please let me know. I think it's worth about 10 pound. So from £1.50, you know, it's easy. That'll, that'll go in a nice large letter. Happy days. Sticking on something completely random. I'm a big beer um, collector. I've actually got this glass already. Camden, Camden's beer is unbelievable. The pale ale from Camden is, is so nice. People will be getting about £12 for this. Uh, this has got the box as well. So yeah, £1 into £12. Cannot complain. Tall glass and handsome. Just like me. No, not like me at all, actually. And then I thought I'd go on to something a little bit different, a lens. I paid £5 for this lens. It's probably only worth, I have no idea. It's a 28mm lens. Um, I don't know, 20 quid? I really don't know. I have no clue on lenses. It's something that I want to get into. And that's the reason why I brought it. So if I can get... Even if I can just double my money until I know what's you know what sort of camera lenses sell well, I'm very very happy with it. I don't know the brand either. Vivitar is it Vivitar? Vivitar have not got an app. I haven't got a Scooby, but 28 mil camera. I thought it would look quite nice. He did have another one I put this in the charity shop, but I think it was slightly snapped, so I didn't want to uh, didn't want to purchase it because obviously I'm trying to learn as I go, and as I'm learning, I'm teaching you guys. So yeah, five pounds for a nice, nice lens. Really, it's in absolutely stunning condition. It just all depends on that brand. But yeah, twenty quid. Hopefully, uh, there'll be a little thing down here or down here with the exact price when I do my research. So that's one bag done. We've still got three more bags to go. This bag that I'm going to show you is really, really, really small anyway. But we've got a Mr. and Mrs. A brand new sealed game. I paid two pound for this. Um, not really much else to say i can't show you inside because it's brand new and sealed it's about 15 pound again so two pound 50 into 15 pound 
Again, the actual price will be down on this corner or this corner when I do a bit more research when I come to edit this. But yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Board Games. I always look out for board games because board games sell quite well all year round and they do really, really well over Christmas. So what I do at the moment, boys, is I stick it up high and if they sell, if I don't fall off my chair, if they sell during that time before Christmas, then that's a bonus. If they don't, it is what it is. Uh, we fit... If I want to sell this game on a standalone game on its own, it's about three, four quid. But I'm going to wait until I get a Wii Fit board and bundle it up with a Wii Fit. So it cost me a quid. So whatever I pay for the Wii Fit board, I obviously have to add on a pound as well because that's an investment for the Wii Fit board. Uh, got a tape, just a 25p tape. If it's worth anything, I'll sell it. But I don't think it is. But I need a tape to test a lot of my tapes decks out. I've got a lot of tape recorders coming through. Because you guys know I like to sell the big high-end things. And a lot of the big high-end things have got retro stuff. And cassettes are retro. So yeah, don't. not really sure how much that's going to be worth. I'm not going to take it into consideration at all. Because I'll be keeping that to test a lot of things. I will be selling this. This is a Togepi, I think it is, from Pokemon. It's from Tomy. Absolutely still. £1.50. People are getting £15 to £20. Look, look out for your Pokemon plushes, boys and girls. Joe from Closet Geek has taught me to look out for Pokemon plushes. So all credit goes to him. But yeah, definitely, definitely look out for your Pokemon plushes. £1.50, an easy £15, £20 flip. Uh, and sticking with the same uh, same shop as I got that thingy, I picked up this Team GB cycling t-shirt. I thought that was quite cool. Uh, don't know the price on this. I would probably go for about £15. It's got the uh, bottles on the back, if you can see that. Absolutely great condition as well. It's nearly brand new. There's hardly a single mark on this. I paid up a little bit for this. I paid £3.50. It's an extra large. But I'm hoping to get 15, 20 quid for that. Again, I haven't done much research on this. It's quite hard to find something this unique. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely do more research on that. I think that's wicked. A Team GB 2012 cycling shirt. Absolutely incredible. I might keep it for myself, but I'm not an extra large. So I won't be keeping it to myself. That's that bag done. We've now got two more bags to go. Hope this isn't boring you too much. But yeah, this is all for one week uh, at Sense in my local thingy, in my local town. I picked up some light bulbs. I think I picked up two or three. I picked up three, if I look to this. Yeah, I picked up three light bulbs. Uh, I paid 75p each, they are reduced. Um, not, not massive money in here, but they're brand new. And the reason why I picked them up actually, which sounds really stupid, is home base. I don't know about you boys and girls, but home base in my town and my local towns are closed down. Uh, I think they went under, but I'm not 100% sure. I think there might be a few left in there. But yeah, we picked up three. They're worth about £7 each. 7 14 21 21 quid. Uh, I might even bundle up and sell them for 20 quid, to be honest. Not sure yet. Not very good on the uh, energy rating at all. A D. So they might last. They might stay with me for a while. But yeah, 75p into 20 quid altogether or probably seven pound each so yeah not too bad you can't really complain it's still 10 times your money which is which is insane in the membrane all these wwe fans out there enzo and big cass it's a slightly faded how you do in nxt t-shirt i paid two pound fifty if it was in better condition you're probably looking at about 20 quid make sure you look out for your wrestling Make sure the official wrestling, they've either got the NXT logo in the in the neckline or they've got the WWE, obviously. But yeah, NXT, Enzo Big Cass, can't complain. It's a nice big size. It's a large, I do believe. So yeah, that will sell quite well. But if it was, it's a little bit faded. So I'm going to aim for a little bit lower than 20 quid. I'm probably going to go 12, 15 pound. Might stick up for 12, 50 plus postage. See if I get any bites. So moving on slowly but surely, boys and girls, we have picked up these Anutsuki Tiger Brogues, which is, I've sold this brand before. The trainers are worth £35, which I've, I've actually sold them for £35. These, you're probably looking at 35 40 quid again. Nice size 10, I think they are. No, US 10, so size 9 in the UK. 
make sure you look out for you this brand here if you can see that or nutsi what's it called a nutsuk or nutsi q tiger i don't know but yeah look out for these trainers i paid how much did i paid for these five pound i think five pound into 35 40 quid i cannot grumble at that they're actually really nice to be fair i won't be keeping them myself because again i buy things that aren't my size because there never is anything that's my size uh last thing from this box no it isn't the last thing there's a few stuff in there actually we have picked up i've actually bought a lot more than i thought i bought <laughs> uh we bought this timberland shirt uh timberland's a good brand not amazing brand to sell on ebay but i was 100 happy with the quality i was 100 happy that it was real three pound probably into 15 20 pound a push a nice striped sh shirt i think it's a size large it's actually a really nice shirt but yeah 15 to 20 pound I'm, I'm being realistic I'll probably get 15 pound for this but i like selling clothes so i pick stuff up like that We've got a couple more things in here or just the one no we've got two things in here there ah i forgot about this a brand new harry potter the cursed child um part one and two this is like a storytelling thing picked up for a pound probably seven pound in that but it's brand new it's something cool i'm not all i don't have to make loads and loads of money i just like to think you know the best thing about selling and reselling is you handle things that you never ever would pick up and this is one of them things i'd never ever have picked this up if i wasn't doing it for reselling just think it's cool and then a simple buzz at the music quiz that will be bundled up with a ps2 and the controllers when i get one which could go up there so yeah six pound seven pound from a pound uh investment uh this is the last bag which i picked up on friday so we start off with this boy Longleat Safari Park, Longleat, uh, £1.75 I pay for him, he is so cool, he is massive, I mean my head's big and he's bigger than my head so that's impressive, I've seen one on eBay at the moment with £25 with bids so it has no bids on it so I think he's pushing it at 25 I'll probably sell it for 30 quid, 25 £30 so yeah look out for your Longleat Safari Park Look out for anything that's branded on a teddy bear. So like your Pokemon, like your Safari Parks. And then there's another teddy bear that I picked up today. This one, the Black Ball Tower Dungeon Teddy Bear. I paid up for this. I paid £2. But looking at comps and solds, they're selling for, I don't know, 15, 20 quid. So teddy bears I'll definitely, definitely want to look out for. These two are so good condition. It's unbelievable. Two branded, really like well-known branded companies longley and the blackpool uh dungeon obviously everyone's been to well not everybody but a lot of people have been to this and they've probably you know this is probably selling brand new for about 20 25 quid in the shops uh so yeah i'll probably get 15 20 quid from now he's in really really good condition uh absolutely excellent condition and the same with this but this one's probably looking at more like 25 30 pound so that is incredible this whole bag by the way which i'm showing you cost me nine pounds 70 and then I picked up this Sony Cybershot uh, camera case. It's I paid a pound. It's probably only worth nine to ten quid, maybe twelve at a push. Really nice condition, no mold or anything. So yeah, probably ten pound I'll push for that, which is also not bad. A pound to a tenner, ten times in your money is ridiculous. And this guys, I got all these games. I think I got fifteen games and them teddy bears and that case for less than 10 quid which is incredible and some of the titles in these games are pretty good little big planet 2 five pound call of duty modern warfare 3 six pound guitar hero metallica with i don't know what it is yeah but yeah guitar hero 2 metallica fully complete hang on look at this it's got even got a game receipt 75 pound someone paid for that holy smokes that must have come with the guitar as well but yeah guitar hero metallica probably wait until i get a guitar hero uh which i might ah oh, no it's a playstation 2 but yeah 33p that equals so probably about four pound five pound again gran turismo selling them all day long for five pound modern warfare 2 i sold 
two days ago i sold two of these for six pound half-life two five pound call of duty four five pound spongebob five pound need for speed underground two one five pound hype the time request i've never even heard of that game so i've researched it. it's about six pound halo original on the xbox five six pound and the sims 2 the full shebang on the pc that's probably about 10 pound so you're looking at five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen games just on them games alone i'm probably going to turn over 75 80 quid and the two teddy bears so that's 25 that's nearly 120 quid from a nine pound investment which is absolutely mind-boggling but yeah guys that is the haul so guys i hope you did enjoy the haul and the new sort of charity shop one one week one charity shop sort of series idea that i've come up with if you guys really do enjoy this sort of series smash that like button remember 50 likes and then i'll go and find another charity shop local and i'll do a whole week in that charity shop and show you guys what we've made uh, what we've picked up and what we can potentially make so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy that if you didn't please let me know why and if you did smash that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one remember to stay active and stay wicked and ciao just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video and the massive support you've shown me throughout my well reselling career so if you did enjoy that video please smash that like button and i'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you soon.